Hi, it's Corrine with Knitwit Collections, and today I have a fun project to share with you. I have wanted to redo my cookbook for quite a while because it's a disaster. Um, let me show you here, actually. I think somebody gave this to me when I got married, so um, I've had it for quite a while. It's completely falling apart. The whole book is falling apart and I've never had a good way to keep my recipes so I just shove things in here when I find recipes that I want to try or tried and true recipes they're just kind of all shoved in here no rhyme or reason so this has been a project I have wanted to do for quite a while so I got the grandma's pantry paper pack from Knitwit Collections it's an adorable paper collection and it's a great way to um, either make a little cookbook for a new bride or a Christmas gift whatever you want to do comes with lots of adorable elements and it comes with a bunch of recipe cards so I was deciding how I wanted to do my cookbook I didn't know if I wanted to actually make a book and then I have had this in my stash this little stand for quite a while and I thought this is perfect because it can be hands-free in the kitchen um, it can stay in the kitchen so it's easy to turn to so I went ahead and repurposed this it's it's a photo holder but this is perfect in my kitchen so I did Mod Podge the front cover just to keep it nice it's up to you if you want to do that but if not you'll probably have to replace that after a while I added some chipboard to give this label dimension behind it and I do have a quick video just showing a little bit of me putting this together that I'll play that here at the end on the front here I added dimension behind all my elements I added a little bow here and some of the nouveau crystal drops in white I added a couple there one to the center of the bow and a few there so when you flip this over it's just decorative on the back let me turn it so these are all different elements that come in if you buy the uh, bundle pack so I just added them onto the paper and printed them out you can also cut them out separate sorry my light looks like it's going um, you can also cut them out separate and add them on here but I didn't want any dimension on the back of the page so now I have different dividers or different sections for each and again I just added all this to the paper and I doubled the paper on my divider sections and these little labels come in here they have a blank one so you can add your own or they have certain ones like main dishes side dishes desserts so on and so forth they come with some flowers so I added those and here's the back this was um, out of my own stash I had a little label they come with lots of little labels this little tea kettle and then they come with blank recipe cards and um, different kinds I believe there's probably eight different kinds so you can just add but they have the little journaling lines you can write it in you can um, type it in which is what I did here I added a little bowl stack of bowls that's from my stash there and then on the back is just decorative so then I have all my my recipes here like this one I added this cluster here to the paper adorable and then on the back it sits up like this so it's easily able to read while I'm in the kitchen so again I added this sorry my light is going in and out I added this label here this little rolling pin this is from my stash this comes in the element pack their little bowls so and then here are um, again I added this here are some recipe cards that come just like this so they come with a little element in the corner so there's lots to choose from let's see what else I have here this is my side dishes it comes with this uh, border here so I added the border I added a little bowl bow excuse me I added the bowls from my stash and then one of the labels that comes with it again added this little design here I love those look at the little mustard salt cinnamon 
jars. Th these bowls come in the um, with the elements along with this. And then I added another divider for desserts. And these come in the elements as well. The little pot holder. I have room for some extra ones here in the back. And then to give me more room, um, I went ahead and added a coin envelope to the back and inside I have a bunch of extra recipe cards so if I find a recipe I like I can quickly write it down or type it out but this was really fun and I was really happy to have this done this has been on my to-do list for quite a while so check out the description box you'll find a coupon code that Knitwit has generously offered it's good until July 17th so check out the description code for information on how to use that and if you have any questions please let me know thanks for watching